What is up everyone? It is Christian Jackson here with Pro DJ Tutorials and today I'm going to show you how to update the firmware on your DJM 900 Nexus. Updating these mixers is a little more complicated than on the CDJs so I figured I'd make a video to show you how exactly it's done. The only three things you need to update your firmware are of course the Pioneer DJM 900, an Ethernet Cat5 cable, and some sort of PC. It can be either Mac or Windows, doesn't really matter. First step as always for updating your firmware is going to the PioneerDJ.com website, clicking on that support tab at the upper part of the website, continuing on through the support menu, and then scrolling down to the DJM 900. As you hover over it, you'll see software download. Go ahead and click on that link. That'll bring you to one of two options. You can download firmware or driver software. For this, we're gonna download the firmware. This new firmware version 1.300 supports Kuvo. It also added the peak limiter function, which makes your music not sound so bad when it's cranked all the way into the red. I don't know if you've listened to my channel before, that may or may not be a good thing in my opinion. And it also fixed a small issue where the effects don't work as they are expected on the beat effects section. So go ahead and click on that agree with software license agreement and download file if you do actually agree with it and read that whole thing then it'll download a dot zip package to your computer which you're going to want to unzip and then once you've unzipped that package make sure all the contents are there and then we will continue with the firmware update process next up you're going to want to connect that ethernet cable into the link port on the back of your djm 900 then you're also going to want to plug the other end of that cable into the ethernet port on your computer to put the mixer into firmware update mode you're going to want to use some dexterity in your fingers in holding down the effects Q button, the square button that's right below the tap button, and the effect on off button at the very lower right hand corner of the mixer. Hold both of those buttons down and then press the power button. It'll then go into update mode. Once you're all cabled up, you're gonna wanna go to your computer and find the executable file in that extracted zip package. Double click on the executable and on your computer, a window will pop up with various options to update the firmware. Now all you really have to do is sit back and wait as your computer transfers all the appropriate files to your DJM 900 completing the firmware update. This should take about 40 seconds to a minute to complete the software update and at the end of this you'll see a screen on the DJM 900 that says success. From here on you can power down the mixer and restart it and if you want to go and check and verify that everything is updated you can hold down the utility button before you power on the unit and it'll bring you into the club settings menu. You can then scroll left and right with the beat tap buttons to see if the new peak limiter function is in there. And as you can see on here it is. So we're all good to go and our mixer has been fully updated with 1.300.